Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and today's video is going to be my most recent thrift haul. Um, went shopping at a few different thrift stores. I went shopping at Plato's Closet because I was trying to resell some items as well. So if that is something you want to watch, then please stick around. All right, so if you don't know me, my name is Catherine and I am a part-time reseller on multiple different platforms, mainly on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Depop, all those sorts of things. Um, I also love to do beauty content on this channel. So as you can see, I kind of have my my muted uh, Valentine's Day look on today. Um, and I will link all of the makeup and stuff and actually my February shot my stash, I should say, up in the corner for you so you know what makeup I am wearing and the things that I'm using this month but today's video is the main focus is a thrift haul so we're gonna try to go through this pretty quickly because my last video my light uh ran out of batteries so or ran out of juice I basically should say and so I charged some of it up so let's see how long we got so the first um bunch of products we'll go through. <laughs> um, it's actually from Plato's Closet. So I have done a huge declutter for my own closet. A lot of this stuff is just like very basic, old navy, things like that. Um, so not stuff that I feel like I would want to resell myself, but that Plato's would like, um, cause they're just more basic things. And so with that, I had some credit. So I picked up some stuff. So the first one I actually picked up these pair of coach boots for myself surprisingly my husband was with me and he saw them they were behind the glass case he saw them and he said you have to try these on and so for my husband to tell me I have to try on a pair of shoes um is something I don't think I'm ever going to hear him utter ever again so I tried them on they fit they look great he loved them so I got them so they are this really pretty like pebbled leather um like two-tone booty with the coach charm in the back they are new with well new in box i have the box so they're they were new in box they are the um melody with bte pltr i don't i don't know the, i think probably pebbled leather i don't know what bte is um but the melody is the style name so super cool i think these are going to be a great transitional piece from you know winter spring even spring into summer summer into fall so these are really really nice booties and i love them so kudos to my husband for finding them Okay, so some of the other stuff that I found at Plato's, I actually found these uh, Zara women's um, like patent leather little pointed loafers. So with Zara shoes, I've noticed that um, a lot of times like bloggers will, it'll be like a blogger's favorite, which um, makes them even more sought after. To be honest, I didn't really check the comps of these. I just thought they were really cool to begin with and the price is right. So I ended up picking them up. They do have some loose threading around here, but I don't really think that's going to be huge detractor. You can just kind of snip that off and it'll be good as new. They barely look like they're worn on the bottom. So have those. I also picked up these Batula, um, uh, Batula sandals that are made from um, by Birkenstock. They kind of have this really fun holographic type of strap. I believe these are like the Burko floors, so synthet synthetic leather. Um, one <laughs> tragedy though is that they did leave the um, little security tag on, which is no problem. I actually have picked up a security well, security tag remover. It's just a big um, magnet, basically. Um, so that won't be an issue. But these are size 39. Um, it doesn't, I don't know if Batula does um, narrow or regular like Birkenstock does. Usually they'd have like a little foot here indicating what they were. But they, I don't even, these barely look worn at all. So um, this was a good pickup. Price was right. And they were priced pretty low compared to what um, Bergen, they usually price Birkenstocks at. So. Right, so the last pair of shoes I found were these really cool free people kind of like croc embossed slingback mules. 
if you will. Um, size 39, made in Spain. Um, again, these were a really great price. I have sold Free People shoes um, for good chunk of money. So I was okay paying up for these a little bit as well as just kind of getting um, trade in for some of my other stuff that would have just been donated anyways. So happy for that. And then the last thing I got for myself was these um, Lululemon camo shorts. I have never, and I still have the, the tag in them. Um, I've never seen a tall <laughs> pair of shorts from Lululemon before. So, um, and me being 5'10", definitely need a pair of tall shorts because if you've tried on any of their other shorts, they are quite teeny tiny in the back. So I'm glad to have found these perfect coming into, uh, you know, summertime as well. All right, so let's dive into some of the other stores that we found stuff at. All right, so this is um, a thrift store called Great Things. That is a local nonprofit here in Tucson. And so I think I have all the bags that I got from there, but we'll see. Um, so the first thing, and I think I'm going to keep this for myself as well, is this Madewell Extra Large, like, I, I, maybe it's cashmere, I'll have to look, but it's this very kind of long neutral cream or taupe sweater let me see what the it's made out of no it is okay so it has polyamide 30 percent merino wool 10 percent alpaca so i think it's the alpaca that's really soft and then four percent elastane um so and then also too if you don't know with madewell and j crew um they will have like they should have a little tag in here so this says this is from, you know, I'll give you the style number. And then this is from fall 2020. So and relatively um, newer piece. So I think I'm going to keep that for myself. If not, if it doesn't fit or I don't like it, I will definitely resell it. Um, let's see. Oh, another exciting pickup, something I definitely paid up for and I didn't really do well of checking comps. I used to do super well at checking comps. Now I'm just kind of like, I don't have time, um, which is not the best mindset to have. Uh, but I did pick up this um, Boss by Hugo Boss the from their like, what does it say? Responsible line. It was new with tags, which is crazy. Um, just this really pretty, just basic. I don't want to call it basic, but just like kind of minimalistic black dress with the front tie you know i'd have to look at a stock photo to see how everything looks i think it's a midi length uh, with long sleeves super pretty um looks like it's uh it still has this tag on it so it looks like it might have been from like nordstrom rack um and it was valued at 545 dollars and the savings is at 200 dollars um so yeah i'm excited to i'm i'm gonna try this on myself because i think it's my size um but if not i'll resell it but look how cool that is that's so pretty all right so i definitely uh looked in the swimsuit department as well because spring and summer will be here before you know it and you want to stack your stuff full of uh you know weather appropriate things so i picked out this um it's a bikini bottom with a matching top so kind of a high-waisted more cheeky style with a tie and then really cute kind of top with puff sleeves again with the tie in the back I don't think it had like a brand in here um it does say it's an extra extra large no brand um you know it's so I'm sure it's some sort of like boutique brand, but it did have, you know, a hygienic lining in it. So it makes me feel more comfortable purchasing it. Again, I might try it on myself to see if I like it. If not, I will resell it. Another uh, swimsuit. So I try as best I can to only pick up swimsuits that um, have the matching bottoms and tops. Not all the time, but... I've, I've learned in the past, if you don't have matching bottoms and tops, um, it takes a little bit longer to sell in my opinion. Um, but this one did have the matching top and bottom, this really fun, like kind of, uh, what do you call this? Like 
uh, terry cloth I don't know it's very textured I forget what it's called um almost like towel like material um this is brand new with tags from something navy which if I'm not mistaken that is a from Nordstrom Nordstrom Rack um this is the hydrangea tankini um with a tag of $75 an extra extra large and then the matching bottoms again with hydron the hygienic liner with tag size extra extra large um and these retailed for 55 dollars. so these are the buttercup low rise bikini bottoms um so since and i i also try to do this as well um i try to get swimsuits that are in the same size so sometimes you know women will have a bigger bust um but a smaller waist so it might be like a large top and a small bottom i just try to avoid that as well so i try to get things in the same size um and the question is do you list together or do you list separately so comment that below what what do you do do you do you list your swimsuits separately or um, together? I'm, it's it's I I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one, so we'll see. We will see. Um, so this one goes against my rules of trying to find bottoms for it, but because it is a um, kind of neutral top, I guess if you will, it's um, what do you call this? Tinky? Is that, is that what it's called? Tinkini top? Um, you know, it kind of covers the bottom portion of things, so you could really wear whatever bottoms that you want. And this was also new with tags from Swimsuits for All, um, which is a more size-inclusive um, swimsuit company, and this is a size 24. So again, trying to stock my closet with more plus-size clothing, especially really cute, like, little, little things like this. Ah, yes, another really cute swimsuit. So very plunging neckline and what kind of back is that? Very cheeky type of back, if you will. Still has the hygienic lining in it, which is always good. Um, What is this one? I think it's a, okay, so it's just ASOS, um, but it was a, a US 14 EF, so again, more of a plus size clothing um, item and just super cute, beautiful, you know, strappy little, strappy little number, if you will. So always fun to find. Then I picked up a few bras. Um, this is from Lively, um, which if I'm not mistaken, does Lively, do they sell like a, um, a diffusion line at Target or something? I feel like, I feel like they do. So I don't know if this is like from that Lively line or the actual one, um, online, but just really cute, basic t-shirt bra, um, with some lace details in the back. It does have the little hook up here so you can make it a racer back if, as well. And this is a size 34 double D. And then another little lively bralette that is a size. Let me get it in where it's supposed to be. Just a really pretty little bralette size two, which I think is like a vanity sizing and I'd have to do the calculations, but I'm sure it's like a, probably donated by the same person. So probably like a 34 double D, um, but really great condition. Let's see. And then these were super cool. So I don't pick up a lot of Nike. Um, I only pick it up if it's like if it looks really cool. And these looked really cool. And these were um, so they're Nike running, um, but they're like these compression running pants with like this really cool textured look. So I don't know. They were just kind of cool looking. So. I have to look them up and see what the style is. Their size medium from summer 2017. So again, if you look at Nike tags, it will usually tell you um, style number, style date, things of that nature. These were just really cool looking. So I always try to pick up some unique pieces. All right, we are still at the same store. This is 
This I kind of waxed and waned on, but it was 50% off. It was like a color tag. Um, this is Cabby. And again, you know, it's somewhat newer. We always say it's the new Cabby tag, but the Cabby tag has been like this for quite some time now. Um, but this is an extra, extra small, which again, kind of deterred me a little bit from buying it just because smaller sizes really sit in my closet. Um, but it was super cute. It's 50% off. So kind of this turtleneck textured material and then it has like this like it's, i don't know how to describe it it's almost like a, a sweater pullover sweater cardigan because it has like openings right so like you have to wear a shirt underneath but it kind of comes together to create this sweater like thing so very very unique looking um so i'm gonna try to get that up as soon as i can um just because of the season that we're in what is this? Oh, this just looked, um, this was just really cool looking. So this is from a brand called Cameo, which I want to say might be sold at Revolve or Shop Up or stores like that. Um, but it's this really pretty kind of black, uh, tank, but this neoprene peplum, um, bottom. So it's, it's kind of like a scuba material neoprene on the bottom. So I just thought that was super unique looking. Um, so size small, and I think it was, it was 50% off as well. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, okay. So again, trying to stock my um, closets with more really pretty plus size clothing. Because I've noticed that for me has been um, faster sellers in my closet. So this is E Shakti. This is a 1X or a 16W. Really pretty, kind of like, um, almost, I mean, I guess kind of boat necky, um, neckline, quarter sleeves. You go down and it has this really pretty like floral embroidery on it. I want to say it's probably knee length, maybe a little bit half knee length. Oh, another really beautiful um, plus size, Eloquy, size 20. This really pretty pink dress with these beautiful, like, really exaggerated cap sleeves. I don't know if that's what you would call them, or like cape sleeves, maybe. Super duper beautiful knee length dress. Per this color is perfect for spring. And then I think that was all from that one store. So now let's look at um goodwill boutique all right so the uh the next items are actually from goodwill boutique which if you're not familiar um we have one and basically the uh, the higher quality items whatever um get sent to the boutique and they do price them a little bit higher so sometimes they're not really that much higher quality um but it is a I'll say a nicer shopping experience. It looks more like a boutique store. Um, so and it is in a nicer part of town. So, but anyways, we, we stop in there all the time because uh, it's right next to Plato's Closet and it's right next to one of our favorite Mexican food restaurants. So I try to pop in there whenever um, we're there on Sundays or Mondays because those days um, in Southern Arizona, the, uh, the Goodwills do 20% off days for first responders. And with my job as a uh, mental health therapist, I do qualify for that. So I get 20% off my total on those two days. So I try to keep my shopping at Goodwill's on Sundays and Mondays. So some of these I did pay up for, but I think I will definitely make my money back plus a good profit. Um, so the first one were these Spanx. Well, and then I also have the 20% discount, so that always helps. Um, but were these Spanx like liquid. And I only saw this side when I picked them up and I was like, oh, okay. or I should say, I only saw the back side when I picked them up, but when I saw the front side, they are like the Moto liquid leggings. That I think makes them even more desirable. Um, these can resell for like fifty to seventy-five dollars. So again, I was pretty happy with my investment in them. This is a pair of Everlane, um, just leggings. What size is that? Size small. Just kind of this like tan color legging with the um phone pockets on the side i think probably like a seven eighths 
link. I was just seeing if they had like any mesh paneling in them. Um, that. What is this? Oh, this is something I probably, well, no, this was priced pretty decently. Um, and it was, I'm actually very surprised at this because it was priced very decently, not marked up at all. Like this, the pricing would have been like at any regular Goodwill. Um, and it was new with tags. It's a um, retail for $149. It's a size extra large and it's from Gianni Bini. Um, and it is this really pretty like sleeveless or strapless, I should say, cut out little linen, excuse me, like linen dress or something. Super beautiful, like perfect for tropical vacations. Actually, I have a beach vacation coming up this year. So I probably I'll just put it in my, my pile and see if that works because that will fit me. Um, yeah, so my personal pile keeps getting bigger and bigger, but that's okay because you know what? I am paying fractions of retail prices, which is something I never would have done before I would have gotten to reselling. I would never would have gotten to thrift stores and never would have found great stuff like that. Like, can you, I used to pay retail prices. Ridiculous. Never again. What is this? Oh, this is a Kimmy and Kin. So this is a more of a lounge style brand at Anthropology. Just this really kind of like apron style dress with this uh, buttons down the side. Please tell me that has, it's not missing a button. No, it's not missing a button. Just beautiful little loungy dress, super thick. Oh my gosh. Okay. I did just notice it does have a hole in the back right here. Not a biggie. I will, um, I'm not a sewer, no, but I do have like mending glue. Um, what I can just mend the, mend it basically where you can barely tell that it had anything and I'll just disclose it that I mended it that way and it shouldn't be an issue. Hopefully yeah, I paid a little bit more than I probably should have, but it's still really pretty. Again, I get so, ex I get so excited and all the deals and all the buyings, but I don't always look everything over. And again, just because it's in a Goodwill boutique, do not think that they do any more, uh, or any more or less, uh, screening than they normally do opposed to just saying, oh, I feel like this is a good brand. Uh, this next piece is, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a decidual, decidual, whatever. That's the brand size, extra, extra large. This is always a fun brand because they always have some really fun prints. So it's this like, what do you call it? Almost like a shark bite dress. I can't, where it kind of comes up and around. So it's longer on the sides. This is not my, I don't think I would ever wear this, but I think somebody will love this because this brand really does fun prints like that. Um, so I'm sure if you're a fan of the brand, then this would be something that you would hopefully enjoy. Let's see. I'm going to save this one to the end because that one, one item is, uh, is a huge find. Okay. This is um, Maeve, which is anthropology. And it makes me think it's a, a little bit older um, tag because it doesn't have the Maeve by anthropology, which is a little on the newer tags. Um, this is a really pretty, just kind of like turquoise, um, what do you call this material? Where it's like the crinkly material. Just a really pretty knee length dress. Again, really nice for upcoming summer. It's a size medium. I have been trying to get a little bit more stringent um, with the pieces from Anthropology that I pick up. Just because I feel like they've gotten so saturated lately that... You know, anthropology, you know, give it three years ago could go for 40, 50, 60 dollars. Um, and everybody was trying, you know, anthropology was the thing because there's so many brands. Um, and now it's so saturated that you definitely don't get as much. Um, but so I still pick up more special pieces like that. But um, some of the brands that I don't pick up with in anthropology anymore is like Diletta, even Akimi and Ken. Um, some of the more basic pieces like loungewear pieces I don't pick up. Um, what else? I can't think of anything else off the bat, but I try to pick up more unique things. Um, and even within those brands, if it's unique, I'll, I'll pick those up. 
This was a really cool find and I'm going to have to do some more research on it. But again, I always look up tags that just are interesting. So this is Blessed Are The Meek, which I think is like a Revolve brand, if something like that. And it's this really cool like sweater, uh, tank sweater maxi dress. I'm going to try to show you the best. And it just like has these like scaly like texture on it. It's so beautiful. It's all the way to the floor. Um, really pretty, like, let me try to like scoop back. So gorgeous. So I'm going to have to do some research on it. It's a size zero. So again, it's a smaller size, but sometimes you got to bend your rules on stuff where it's like, I feel some pieces, even if they are overpriced, or I, sh I shouldn't say overpriced because I still paid for it, so it's whatever I see the value in, um, but some things that are priced higher or some things that are smaller sizes, but they are just such unique pieces and something that I like instantly fall in love with. It's like, regardless of how much money I can get for it, I still feel like I'm like, somebody needs this in their life and I need to be able to give it to them. Um, so I'll pick up pieces like that. Is that the best uh, business decision? Probably not, but it's what I do. Um, so this is Bowden and this is a size uh, US 10R, so 10 regular. Again, this really pretty kind of textured mock neck knee length dress and this like really pretty magenta color with quarter sleeves this is ah uh, okay so this yes this wasn't really anything super special either but the asos okay so asos is more of a fast fashion brand um but they have a lot of de uh, designers underneath the asos brand and this is asos design so it makes me think it's a little bit higher tier than some of the other products um this is a us6 and again i i probably paid too much for it but it is new with tags so it has this little tag on it but just the style of it i'm like somebody needs this it's beautiful like retro shirt dress with the buttons and the color and so, so, so gorgeous. Somebody needed this in their life. So I am hoping I can deliver it to them for um, a profit. Let's see, ooh, another exciting find. This is Ghani. This is a more expensive brand. Um, this is size something I don't know what the size is um but again really pretty kind of like textured black uh dress with this little peplum flare out at the waist knee length possibly below the knees um some good stretch to it size large so the size was on the content tag all right, a few more things until we get to the very special thing. Um, so this is just a more basic style of Patagonia pants. I try to, if some, here's the actual, what the brand tag looks like. If I find a brand that I feel like is popular, so we, you know, the Patagonia Cinchilla uh, pullovers and stuff like that are super popular. Um, so I'm sure the pants, I mean, these are just like little jogger pants. Um, probably not as popular or won't fetch me as much, but because they are Patagonia, I'm sure they would, um, fetch for a little bit higher than non-Patagonia. Um, these are a little bit older at fall 2016, um, but they are a size, size something. I don't know, I'd have to figure out the size because I'm not seeing the size on there. But just really fun kind of like loungy pants let's see this was the first thing that i found at the store and again i know skinny jeans aren't really in for anybody anymore i still like skinny jeans but even even myself who is die hard skinny jean fan i'm still i'm finding like I'm looking at like straight jeans or wide leg jeans or something like that um, because that's what's really out there. Um, so I'm here to serve still the skinny jean people um, and these are frame denim 
size 27 and they are the lay high skinny so that is what they look like i know there is some puckering right here um but again you just kind of there's a little bit of wear on the interior you just note it and you know you probably won't sell it as much um as obviously new with tags but they will still sell oh they do have some distressing at the knees as well so you just be honest with your listings and you price accordingly all right let me make sure that this is the last ah one more thing until we get to the very last thing um so this was new with tags as well this is selfie leslie new to me brand but it was new with tags and it was priced really well for being new with tags and it's this really beautiful uh pistachio color dress the ruffles and it's like a little a-line dress at the bottom super pretty um it doesn't have like the retail price on it. So I will do some investigation, but it is a size 10 or a medium, um, new with tags. So I'll have to look that up. Are you, are you familiar with this brand at all? Selfie Leslie? If you are, let me know down below. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is the dress that hopefully will pay for this whole haul. All, everything will pay for this whole haul the profit of this um so flipping through flipping through this is one of the last things i see um and it's a new to me brand and you know what i just i i'm always a sucker for things that are new and i try to look it up and see what it is so this is the brand called odd muse and it is a uh new with tag this dress so cute so it is a very very mini little dress right there mini dress but it kind of has this like off like square neck with pearls beautiful pearls has this like silicon uh gel thing so it kind of stays up this dress consistently sells for 150 to like 175 dollars to even more and this is new with tags and that those dresses are like used so i am so excited to get this listed and um i definitely paid up more for it so it's they they i don't want to say they knew what they had but they could tell it was a little bit more quality style um so super <laughs> super happy to have that to uh I always love when you can find things that like the profits of everything will pay for your whole haul because everything after that is just money um so again super super pretty dress so excited to list this but that is my haul um I picked up a few other things um that are not in this room I think they're still in my car I picked up this really pretty um another eloquy plus size like aubergine dress with bell sleeves that was new with tags um i picked up oh i picked up this really pretty another pistachio color um top by ming wang um which is pretty high end um and that was new with tag i picked up um some of the they're Birkenstocks. They're the Madrid style, but they're the, I don't want to call them jellies, but they're like the foam ones. So they're not like the, the cork, cork ones that go for a lot, but I still think I'll make some money off of those. Some Timberland, like men's Timberland, um, tennis shoes. I picked up another pair of, um, and I'm, I have them in my drafted listings. They're men's clay, C-L-A-E, um, tennis shoes. I feel like I picked up Something, oh, like a free people top, something else. So if I don't, if, if I don't go thrifting for a while, um, I at least have said them out here. <laughs> if I do have another haul in the near future, then I will, there goes my light. Um, <laughs> if I do have them in the near future, then I will, um, I will include them in that thrift haul. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you um, subscribe to this video if you like reselling content, if you like beauty content. Um, and please leave a comment down below. What was your favorite find? Would you have picked this stuff up? Would you have left it behind? 
we all have our own different uh, ways of reselling and what we prefer. And yeah, just any sort of engagement in this channel really helps. I've noticed um, my channel has uh, really picked up um, at the end of 2022 and the beginning of uh, 2023, which is excellent. So cool to see uh, this YouTube channel grow. So I really appreciate it if you could be a part of it. Um, and with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.